As a crime and intelligence analyst, I help to support investigations. The tools that I possess, I have the ability to have access to our RMS system. We're able to reach out to other agencies across the country just to find the information that can maybe fill the holes for the investigations that we're looking at, whether it's for trying to identify a suspect that is unknown to us, but we have a photo, we have a potential name, we have a type of crime or a series that is happening. That potential of working with these investigators and having the idea that maybe something that I found, that potentially could be that missing piece of that puzzle. Our crime analysts, by default, have to be lifelong learners because technology is constantly changing. We have to keep up with that. Investigators pivot at a moment's notice depending what evidence they collect. One of the things that we would do just very conceptually would be taking complex data, synthesizing it, analyzing it, making sense of that complex data, and providing data from multiple sources to have a clearer picture of an investigation uh, and passing that information on to investigators. My name is Detective Sergeant Jeremy Vosberg. I'm an investigator in the Homicide Unit and I've been a police officer for 17 years. I've seen private intelligence analysts evolve their role and they've really given quantitative and qualitative information and usable data uh, to help me further investigations where I thought that I'd hit dead ends and really had nowhere else to go. What we're doing in our unit is largely tactical analysis. So the products that we are generating or the reports that we're writing, they could be actioned on by investigators. So I think with that, our products need to be timely. We started with the service as a CPIC operator. I was interested in the backstory of how officers get to the point where they issue warrants and execute warrants. And so from that curiosity, it kind of stemmed my interest in joining the crime analysis unit. Investigations have become increasingly more complex, uh, especially video surveillance and cell phone data. We've used analysts to take a list of what could be 10,000 text messages and put that into something finite that's easy to understand, easy to read, and then easy to communicate to the courts come trial. Uh, we've also had uh, the assistance of our analysts um, locating this information as suspects have left the city or left the province and end up far away from here and use their abilities to track them into new locations and to actually help us find them and arrest them. We're trying to solve those pieces of the puzzle so they can ask better interview questions, they can gather better surveillance evidence, solving the next crime pattern in a more efficient manner. Finding that little detail is very exciting because you now recognize that trend and that sparks that interest for the analysts and officers to look deeper. We're going to find something that's going to put a conclusion to this situation. For the future of policing as far as crime analysts go, I expect to have them in at the very beginning of almost every investigation, whether it's a violence offense, a drug investigation, an assault, or right up to a homicide right from the first hours of an investigation, uh, rather than waiting to bring them in at, at a later time. Seeing the data and looking for new links that we wouldn't otherwise be able to make. They've helped us identify suspects, they helped identify witnesses based on uh, their demographic searches and information they are able to uh, pull out of files and older instances that we just don't know about or don't have access to. They are so dedicated uh, and take such pride in their work. There's always work to be done. It is fast paced because of the amount of crime we have in the city. Reading the narratives and the reports, I find very, very fascinating because you kind of get into the mindset of the person doing the crime, trying to understand why they're doing it or how they're doing it, and perhaps even find that trend and pattern to see maybe what they're gonna do next. The return on investments that we get from the work the uh, analysts do uh, is phenomenal. There's probably not a unit within the service that we don't support that's out there doing investigations. The days go by uh, very fast and that combined with no two days being the same, it's a very dynamic work environment. Because of that volume of work and our volume of homicides in the city, I think we need more analysts to help work with our unit to provide that support. We do deal with very heavy 
topics, heavy situations, very intensive investigations. We are privy to that information. And I feel the fun that comes out of that is really the people that work within the unit. Our unit's uh, fairly small right now, but um, we do have the capacity uh, to be assisting uh, any investigative unit from drug trafficking to property crime. Uh, our analysts would be supporting investigations. We're not, we're not decision makers, we're here to support. The most gratifying part of the job is witnessing the work that happens in this unit on a daily basis. When they identify that missing piece of the puzzle, or Crown attorneys phoning and saying thanks to the analysts, they were able to get a plea deal. So we're saving the public all that court time. Or we have some closure and we know that we made the public that much safer. I would have to say everything is quite fun as far as the pursuit of the conclusion of an investigation. I think a fun part of the job would be getting to work on a lot of really interesting investigations and see that your work is valuable, um, not only to people in Winnipeg Police Service, but also to our Crown prosecutors who are taking some of that information uh, and using it for uh, court proceedings. I don't have a gun. I don't have a badge. As a civilian, I can sit at my desk and use everything I have to help them. And the end goal being, we're a team, we're going to figure this out.